All right, so let's do it. Today we're going to be talking about the Holy Blast. The Holy Blastic. All right, so holo means holy. That's what I'm saying, holy. Because that's what it means. And so blast is like the Big Bang. The blast, the Holy Blast, the Big Blast. All right. So now it's of an oval having cleavage planes that divide the egg into separate blastomeres. So it's of an oval. The ovum is the egg. And the ovum has cleavage planes. And these cleavage planes divide the egg into separate blastomeres. All right. So holy mean complete. Holy mean everything. Holo. Hollow be thy name. You see? Stuff like that. So hollow. Hollow also means halo, you see what I'm saying? But informally, it means hologram. Hologram informally. I don't really do informal, but it just caught my attention. As well as halo caught my attention. All right, so hollow in the suffix, uh, well, in the pre uh, prefix aspect and combining form, it means whole. All right, whole. So now, Let's go ahead and go to uh, holy, holy, which we know as means sacred, sacred stuff like that, godly, all that. But let's go down to where it meaning, to where it means whole. So it means whole. Holy means whole, as well as hollow means whole. All right, well hollow, right? I thought that was holy. It skipped over on y'all. Well, yeah, that was. It is holy, right? And so now let's go back to hollow. So you see I defined hollow as well. So hollow is made holy. So hollow is made whole, concentrated, whole, greatly revered and honored. You know what I mean? So hollow be thy name. So it say make holy, make hollow, right? It say honor as holy, honor as whole, you know? So now the origin of the word means holy. Of course, the word, the word hollow means holy and we know holy means whole so that's what we have with that so now let's go to halo let's define halo halo means what define halo halo mean a disc or circle of light shown surrounding or above the head of a saint or holy person to represent their holiness. Now, understand, it says a disc, a disc or a circle, not necessarily a globe or whatever. And most people know that it represents the sun when we when we do it. You know what I mean? When, when we look at it, we look at it as to be in the sun. And they say it's a disc, all right? So that's a, a great key right there. And um, synonyms for it is Nimbus, Aureole, Aureole, Aureole. That, that, that word sounds pretty, pretty familiar. Glory, Corona. A halo is a corona, right? With crown and all that. A disc. It, and it also is radiance and aura. Halation. They are pretty loud, the neighbors are. So now we're talking about a radiance, the aura. The halation. All right. So now let me keep going down. Let's say um, the second definition is a circle of white or colored light around the sun, moon, or other luminous body caused by refraction through ice crystals in the atmosphere. So there, there are ice crystals in the atmosphere, right? Which we should know this. Y'all look at the, um, the deal that I did about crystals and all that. Y'all understand why that's so important. But that's very key. So it's a circle of white or color light, right? It is color light, but most people see it as white. If you can't see it, they can, but see it, they're showing the picture like the rainbow. I see this. I, I've saw this before. All right. So it's saying around the sun or moon, not just the sun, but the moon as well, or other luminous bodies. All right. Understand that. So now, let's go down to what it, the or, what the origin is. So it says mid 16th century, denoting a circle of light around the sun, and to say from medieval Latin, from Latin halos, from Greek halos, 
disc of the sun or moon. All right, disc of the sun or moon. So now it says uh, relating in a you know in a suffix. I keep on saying suffix in a prefix aspect. Is representing or is, is relating to sanity or representing halogen. What is the halogen? What is that? Since they got it up there, highlight it. Let's check it out. So a halogen is any of the elements fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, and astatine, a um, occupying group V2A17 of the uh, periodic table. They are rea uh, reactive non-metal elements that form strongly acidic compounds with hydrogen from which simple salts can be made. All right, so y'all see this? It says um, acidic co uh, compounds. That's automatically a bad thing. For the most part, especially if it's too much of it, right? And then they related it to, be, uh, to simple salts being made from it, right? They said it also could be made with simple salts. You know what I'm saying? When it compounds with hydrogen, and we know hydrogen is in the air and all that. So, okay, so if you mix chlorine, fluorine, any of those type of things, iodine, acetine, acetatine, or whatever that's called, you know what I mean? Any of those labels, that they got the V2 or VA, you see what I'm saying? V2A? <coughs> Excuse me. 17, if you mix any of those with hydrogen, you know what I mean? Then you're going to get, uh, 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 say they are reactive non-metallic uh, non elements that form strongly acidic compounds. You see what I'm saying? They say with hydrogen. When you mix any of those elements above, the chlorine and all that, if you mix it with hydrogen, which is in the air, you mix it with that, it's a, it, it becomes a strongly acidic compound, all right? Like simple salts. So the next definition is a denoting lamps and radiant heat sources using a filament surrounding by vapor of iodine or iodine or another halogen. It's a denoting lamps and radiant heat sources using a filament surrounded by the vapor of iodine or another halogen. All right. So it's letting y'all know that a lot of these lights and stuff is surrounded by the iodine chemical. And we know that hydrogen is in the air. So it's letting you know those are acidic compounds. So you don't want to be close to, too close to the light. All right. That's basically what they're saying for the, you know, just to make it, they, you know, make a long story short. It said mid 19th century from Greek hollows, meaning hollow salt plus gin. See what I'm saying? So that's what it's letting you know that's what salt is. That's why a lot of people be like, hey man, don't eat too much salt and stuff like that. So it said denoting this substance that produces something, denoting this substance or plant that is produced. All right, a substance or plant that is produced is gin. Uh, so they say be born or become. Be born or become. Y'all see this? Born. Be born or become. So like when I'm saying you was going you go up the hill, go down the hill in the other video that I did. So it's letting you know it's all related to the same thing. There's the hollow blast that we're talking about. Hollow blast from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was, was void and without form. You see what I'm saying? He said, let there be light. There was light. I ain't trying to go biblical on y'all, but like I say, it's all the same. And it says a kind. You know what I mean? All right, so, so let's do it. So let's go. Let's see what else I got open for you. So we was talking about hollow gram. So let's check out gram right quick. So a gram in its origin. All right, let's go on to the top. Let's go back to the top because it, it, it's, it's some good stuff y'all need to see about it. So when we're talking about a gram, we're talking about a metric unit of mass equal to one thousandth of a kilogram, first of all, right? Then it say late, 18, late 18, 18th century from French, um, grame, from Latin, um, late Latin, grama, a small weight, from Greek. 
Yeah, I'm trying to hurry up and get to this part. That's why I'm going so fast. Say, uh, not this part right here, but the next one. It's a gram two chickpeas of other looms used as food. Now, it's a uh, well, early 18th century from Portuguese, grano, from Latin, grano meaning grain. So that's key. So a gram can also mean grain. So now, we're getting down to the informal, which is talking about grandma, which I don't like doing informal. But hey, everybody know grandma. So gram, well, the grams come from grandma. So it's short for grandma, you see? Just letting you know it's a form of gram, but it's short for grandma. You see what I'm saying? Grandma is real. See up here, you're talking about grandma, grammy, grandma, small weight, like the, the, the origin of everything, like the, you know, the, you know, the keystone of the family for the most part. Everybody come from grandma and granddaddy, you know what I mean? All right, so now they say, uh, and now it's denoting something written or recorded, written in a certain way. See, because we know that is a, um, it is a suffix, right? And so now we're talking about the cryptogram, whatever that is. You see, that's how you learn if more information. Look on crypto. I know about cryptocurrency and all that. Something to do with something about being digital or something like that. So digitally recorded or whatever, right? So now we're talking about gram. We're talking about uh, hologram, and that's relating to us as a hollow blast and all that kind of stuff. So now this let me know that there's something that was already written. Say it was written, this and this and this and that. Say you the um, living word of God, you know what I mean? We the living God or whatever. And the God is the word of God, so we the walking word, you know what I mean? And we think in our mind and stuff all the time. So we gotta know where I'm going with this. I'm just trying to hurry up and get it in, squeeze it in, so I ain't gotta take up too much of your time. All right, talking all slow in the country. Like y'all need to be you know what I'm saying? Like I need to hold y'all hand. I don't need to hold your hand anyway. I don't even mean to say it like that, but I'm just saying. I don't need to be talking to you slow, like you can't hear. All right, so say from Greek grammar, thing written, letter of the alphabet. So graphing meaning write. You see that? Thing written. A thing written, man. All right. So now, they say, and now it's denoting the novelty greeting or message as a humorous or embarrassing super, uh, surprise for the recipient. Telegram. We say on the pattern of a telegram. All right. So we're getting to the informal stuff again. Warren's grandmother in the United States. So now we're getting to the telegram. It's going to get to some more stuff. You know what I mean? All right. So now we got that, though, for the hologram. We got that. Hologram. So now let's get the cleavage right quick because this is one of the main things that I want to show y'all. I want to show y'all cleavage, right? Because it was saying back here when we said the first definition, what did it say about the hollow blast? It's a of an ovum, right? First of all, let's look at an ovum. Let's see what an ovum is. Gotta check ovum out. Boom. So this is an ovum. So around the ovum, you got the the corona radiator, uh, radiator. And then you got the cytoplasm and the zona, the lucida, and you got the nucleus, all right? That's you, that's all of us, that's us. It's how we come into this world, into the sun, so to speak, right? The corona radiata. That sound like the sun rays. That sound just straight like that. Sun radiation. Everybody know that the corona deal with the sun and all that, since we know about all this kind of stuff, y'all see how everything just come right back into something else, just like that. That's how it work. So now listen here. So now let's go on, slide up out of here, since we got that knowledge right quick, and why we're going into cleavage. All right? So now, since we're in cleavage, right, there's a different type of uh, cleavage when it comes to, it's a cleavage planes, right? There's cleavage planes we're looking at. The cleavage planes. So these are cleavage planes, boom, you see them, right? So this is the one I want to point out to you specific, uh, specifically. Cleavage planes, since we just also saw, uh, dang, you know, we'll do that joint. What about it, uh? Just say, hey man, when you can go and charge me up, I won't have to take my, no. Anyway, that was dead. Don't think you hurt my ears, though. All right, so now look here though. 
Let me not make it all beat. Stay on beat. Stay to the beat. Stay to the rhythm of the music. You understand? I ain't gonna listen. You know, calcite is in your bones and stuff like that. I don't know if y'all know that or not, but it's calcite in, in your bones. That's crystals. Calcite crystals in your bones. Um, that's crazy because they're showing the mineral cleavage of the crystal form. And you know minerals in your body that turn into crystals. Y'all might not know that, but we crystallized beings. That's what we are. You know what I'm saying? Crystallized beings. We, we got calcite. You know what I'm saying? We got uh, um, it's it's two more kind of for sure uh, of different different kind of crystals we have in our body. We got crystals in our ears, our bone structure, like our skeletal structure. It's crystals. And um, there is crystals that, um, in our, in, the, in the top of our teeth. The, uh, <clears throat> I can't remember the enamel. If I'm mistaken, that's the enamel. That's the top part, and that's uh, that's crystal too. All right, so let's let's keep going. So let me show you how the importance of the crystal plane. So now let's say human plane, human planes. Alright, boom, here we go. Get these images right quick. Now the same thing, right? So it's letting us know from the beginning that we have these planes. You understand? We have these planes from the beginning. That's the first thing we get. This is where we get our sense of direction and time stuff so from. We go into the plane, we get entrapped. Boom. We locked in right there. We lie within this. We locked in within the sagittal, uh, sagittal plane, the traverse plane, and the corona plane. All right. So you see the corona plane go from side to side, go up, and down, side to side. You know what I'm saying? Left and right, as you can see. Then you got your sagittal plane and go right down the middle. Go right down the middle. And then you got your traverse plane going right through your um, belly button and everything. That's where it connects everything get together. So most of us know that we are on different planes, different levels and all that, but this is like what it's really all about though. Like you literally are on different planes. Like this is the first plane, second plane, third plane, right? It's first heaven, second heaven, third heaven, so to speak. Okay, as above, so below. Like a serious business. That's 